Get ready to discover a world of fascinating and sometimes surprising sexual customs. In today's video, we'll be exploring five different rituals from around the globe that shed light on the unique ways that different cultures approach sex and relationships. From the matrilineal traditions of the Trobriand Islanders to the sacred Brazilian initiation ritual, you'll gain insight into the values and beliefs that underpin these diverse practices. So sit back, relax, and get ready to expand your horizons with this podium where we bring you pure knowledge in a short time. So without delaying, let's begin our journey. Number 5 on our list is The Tooth Filling Ceremony of Bali this traditional rite of passage takes place in the beautiful island of Bali, Indonesia, and involves filing down the canines and sometimes other teeth to create an even surface. This practice has deep spiritual and cultural significance for the Balinese people. The practice is known as matada and is performed by a priest or a traditional healer who uses bamboo and steel tools to file down the teeth of the participant. This is accompanied by various rituals and offerings to the gods and ancestors, including fasting, bathing in holy water, and wearing traditional clothing. Filing of the teeth symbolizes the removal of negative traits and the acquisition of positive qualities, marking the transition from childhood to adulthood. While the ceremony is primarily a symbolic act, it also has practical benefits. Filing the teeth promotes dental hygiene and prevents tooth decay, making it an essential part of oral care in Bali. But that's not all. The Balinese tooth filing ceremony is also believed to enhance one's sexual appeal. It is said that filing down the teeth makes an individual more attractive to potential partners, signaling that they are ready to accept a mate. This makes it an important rite of passage for young people preparing for marriage or other significant life events. So, if you ever visit Bali, take the time to witness this fascinating tradition that reflects the values and beliefs of the Balinese people. It's a beautiful example of how culture and tradition can shape the way we see the world and ourselves. Let's move on to number four of our list, that is the matrilineal sexual customs of the Trobriand Islanders. Located in the Western Pacific, the Trobriand Islanders have a unique cultural tradition that celebrates sex and relationships in a way that may surprise you. Their society is matrilineal, meaning that women hold a central position in society and inheritance is traced through the mother's line. This leads to a fascinating approach to sexuality, where sex is seen as a natural and essential part of life, and not limited to marriage or committed relationships. In Trobri and Islander culture, both men and women are free to pursue multiple sexual relationships throughout their lives, and this is not considered immoral or deviant. Women are highly valued and respected, and their sexual desires and needs are seen as important. They are often the initiators of sexual encounters, and men are expected to respond with enthusiasm and generosity. Another unique aspect of Trobri and Islander culture is the use of communal gathering places called yam houses, where men and women come together to socialize, exchange gifts, and engage in sexual activity. These houses are decorated with symbols of fertility and sexuality, and are seen as sacred spaces where life-giving powers are shared and renewed. It's important to note that Trobri and Islanders' sexual customs are deeply tied to their cultural beliefs and practices, particularly the concept of kula, which refers to a system of ceremonial gift-giving and exchange. Through kula, life-giving powers are transferred from men to women and from one generation to the next. Overall, the Trobri and Islanders' matrilineal sexual customs offer a fascinating glimpse into a culture where sex is celebrated and valued, and women hold a central role in society. While their practices may seem unconventional to some, they reflect a deep understanding and appreciation of human desire, connection, and the vital importance of social and cultural traditions. Going down the list. Here is number 3, the Sambian people manhood custom. The Sambia people of Papua New Guinea have a unique tradition for initiating boys into manhood. The process is long and involves many rituals and ceremonies, but at the heart of it is the idea that in order to become a man, a boy must separate himself from the feminine and embrace the masculine. The initiation process begins at around age 7, when boys are separated from their mothers and taken to live in an all-male men's house. Here, they are taught the skills and knowledge they will need to become men, including hunting, warfare, and the secrets of male sexuality. One of the most important aspects of the initiation process is the ingestion of semen. This involves the boys performing philodio on older men, who then ejaculate into their mouths. 
This ritual is seen as a way for the boys to acquire the masculine essence and strength they need to become men. It also reinforces the idea that the feminine is weak and polluted, while the masculine is strong and pure. The initiation process culminates in a ceremony where the boys are declared to be men. They are painted with red ochre, signifying their transition into adulthood, and are then presented to the entire community. They are expected to act with strength and courage from this point on, and to take on the responsibilities of men in the community. It's important to note that the Sambia people's initiation into manhood is deeply tied to their cultural beliefs and practices, and is not intended to harm or demean anyone. While it may seem strange or uncomfortable to those from outside the culture, it reflects a complex understanding of gender roles, sexuality, and the transition from childhood to adulthood. So, if you're interested in learning more about diverse cultural traditions and practices around the world, be sure to keep watching our videos and subscribe to the channel. Moving on to number 2, we have the Maasai people wife stealing ritual. The Maasai people of Kenya and Tanzania have a tradition known as wife stealing, which may sound alarming to outsiders, but is actually an important cultural practice that reflects the community's beliefs about love, marriage, and gender roles. In the Maasai community, marriage is seen as a way of building alliances between families and clans, and as such, it is common for parents to arrange marriages for their children. However, sometimes a young man may fall in love with a woman from another clan, or even from within his own clan, but without the approval of her parents or guardians. In these cases, he may resort to wife-stealing as a way of showing his commitment and determination. The wife-stealing ritual involves the young man gathering a group of his male friends and traveling to the woman's village, often under cover of darkness. They will then sneak into her family's home and kidnap her, often using force or coercion to get her to come with them. Once they have left the village, the young man will declare his love for the woman and ask for her hand in marriage. If she accepts, they will continue on to his village, where a celebration will be held to mark the occasion. While wife stealing may sound like a violent or oppressive practice, it is important to note that it is typically carried out with the woman's consent. In many cases, the woman may actually be in love with the man, but is unable to marry him due to social or cultural barriers. By participating in the wife-stealing ritual, she is able to demonstrate her willingness to break free from these constraints and choose her own path in life. It is also worth noting that wife-stealing is not seen as a means of asserting dominance over women, but rather as a way of expressing love and commitment. In fact, in Maasai culture, women are highly respected and valued for their roles as mothers, wives, and caretakers of the community. So, while wife-stealing may seem strange or even disturbing to outsiders, it is an important part of Maasai culture and reflects the community's complex beliefs about love, marriage, and gender roles. Now, the time has come to reveal the number one in our list, but before that make sure to subscribe the channel for more interesting videos. Number one on our list is the Brazilian Zavant Initiation Ritual. The Zavant people of Brazil have a unique initiation ritual for young boys that includes sexual education and experiences. This ritual is a crucial part of their culture, and it is considered to be an important aspect of their journey to manhood. During the initiation ritual, boys are separated from the rest of the community and brought to a special location. Here, they are taught about their responsibilities as men in their society, including hunting, warfare, and leadership, as well as about sexual practices and relationships. The boys are then paired with older women, who are considered to be their teachers. These women guide the boys through their sexual initiation and teach them about their roles as sexual partners in the community. The boys and women engage in sexual activity together, with the understanding that the experience is a necessary part of the boys' journey to manhood. While this ritual may be viewed as controversial by outsiders, it is considered to be a fundamental aspect of Zavant culture and is deeply valued by the community. The Zavant believe that sexuality is an important aspect of their culture, and they view the initiation ritual as a way to reinforce the importance of sexual education and healthy sexual relationships within their community. This ritual highlights the diverse ways in which different cultures approach sexuality and initiation into adulthood. While it may be difficult for some to understand, it is important to respect and appreciate the cultural traditions and values of others, even if they differ from our own. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. See you next time, bye.